I got a different video for you guys today. I'm basically letting ChatGPT look at my MHD data logs and tell me how good the engine's running. So if you pay for the super license on MHD, it has this really cool feature where you can do data logging. So basically what they've done with this is you can basically track how well the engine is running. Are there any issues with it with a map you've got? So this is a really important video because I want to check if the tune is safe that I'm running on my car. I haven't got the knowledge to read it myself. AI does and it can tell me how well the tune is performing on the car and if there are any issues with it maybe I need to tone it down or can I push more power so yeah interesting video let's get it so for example if I wanted to do a data log on this I can check if the stage 2 map is performing as it should you can check for all sorts of things like fuel rail pressure intake air temps you know your AFR so your air to fuel ratio throttle closures everything so I'm not going to show you how to actually do a data log. Basically, it's really simple. If you want to see a video, I will make a video on the channel. But you're going to need your MHD adapter. You're going to want to connect to it with your phone. And then what you're going to want to do is go to about 2,500 RPM. And basically on the screen, it will say ready at the top. You basically put your foot to the floor and then try to rev the engine out basically to redline if you can. But obviously you're going to get some pretty decent speed. So I usually do it from third to fourth. That's when I've done my best and most reliable pulls. And then what I do then is I basically paste the whole file into ChatGPT, which is AI, if any of you guys didn't know, and it tells me everything. So obviously, I don't fully know how to read the chart because I'm not a tuner, but ChatGPT does. And it can tell me literally everything that a professional tuner would be able to tell me. And the best part about this is it's free. So, for example, if you were worried about the tune that you're running on the car, and you didn't know whether it's safe to run it or if there's any issues with it at all like that and you want to do a data log but you can't read the chart, chart yourself then this is a really easy way to do it and it's all free this is literally the best part so i've done a load of pulls i've done basically probably five now going from the best ones and filtered them down over and over and over again before i've done each pull i've made sure that the intake air temperatures have dropped significantly so they're obviously the intake air temps aren't too warm and we're not overheating the turbo and everything like that and we're getting a really nice decent cool pull now if you're clever enough to be able to read the data logs that mhd provide then obviously this is an added bonus i'm trying to learn it and trying to get better at like reading the different logs obviously it's quite difficult to understand at first but this is the great thing about ai it can just do it for me so what i'm going to do now is hop into a screen recording and i'll do a voiceover basically running through everything that mhd has basically explained to me and then I can basically explain it to you guys and let's see how well this is performing is the tune doing all right and it's my high pressure fuel pump on its way out we can check everything so let's get into it all right guys as you can see here I've got a side-by-side -side chart to explain it to you guys so here you can see my log so this is what I filled in with the DASA map onto MHD and also then uploaded it to track GBT I've compared this to a typical stage two plus tune. So something that ChatGPT can read many other tunes and compare it to my one. So we're gonna start off with boost peak. So this is obviously the PSI the turbo creates. It says it on the right here, boosted turbo pressure, higher stable boost equals more power, better turbo efficiency. So you can see mine, we're maxing out around 26 PSI, which is apparently very stable. And this is comparing it to other base maps with a 93 and a 98 octane fuel. Here we've got boost control, tight match. So basically the target is in the target boost is actually hitting quite well. So how well the ECU or boost controller regulates turbo pressure? Tight control equals more reliable power. This is the air to fuel ratio on full throttle. So here you can see mine compared to a typical tune which is on the right which i'm just going under here now so air to fuel ratio must stay rich enough under boost to avoid knocking or overheating ignition timing so when an engine pulls back ignition timing which the ecu does basically means less power when you advance it it can produce more power so mine is aggressive but clean and then basically explains here timing when spark fires more timing is safety more power and efficiency so knock retard, so basically mine is stable with this, it's saying very rare, less than one degree, so mine is staying really stable with this, compared to a typical tune, and then it basically says knock retard shows how much timing the ECU pulls to prevent detonation, 
less knock retards, healthier combustion. Throttle behaviour, so mine is 100% wide open throttle for the entire pull, no closures which is really good, and then it's comparing it to another map that, or other maps it is reading. Throttle closure kills power, a full open throttle under load, maximum engine airflow and torque. The load factor, mine staying stable here, load how hard the engine is working, high load, strong combustion and boost hitting properly, and then temperature stability, mine is very stable. So basically, this is hinting to the performance 5-inch step intercooler that the car is running. And obviously, the ambient air temperature when I was doing this pull was quite cold. So this was helping for cooler temperatures. As we know, cold air is denser. So cooler intake temps, denser air, more power. Stability prevents power loss during pulls. This is my chart. So this is what I'm still trying to currently understand. I'm not too advanced with it at the moment. But if any of you guys wanted to have a little look at it, this is what my pull looked like, so feel free to pause the video here. Let me know how it's looking in the comment section down below. So here you can actually ask AI to do a health analysis. So the turbo health analysis, boost behavior, your turbo is consistently hitting target boost, less than 26 PSI without overshooting or oscillating. And the boost response, boost builds quickly and holds steady throughout the pull, no signs of lag, surge or tampering issues. The wastegate control, wastegate duty cycle shows tight regulation, meaning the actuator and solenoid are working correctly. And the verdict, your turbo is extremely healthy, no inefficiency, no overspin and no airflow losses detected. You can also ask it for an engine analysis update. So the air to fuel ratio is exactly where it should be under full load and meaning injectors, fuel pump and sensors are all healthy. Ignition timing is advanced and clean and climb smoothing. Engine is making strong efficient power. The knock retard corrections are minimal and isolated. Combustion events are stable and pistons valve drain show no stress signs and load and temps. The motor handles load efficient excellently sorry and intake temps stay cool meaning airflow and cooling are both healthy. So the verdict you can see the engine is running nice and strong perfect for the 99 octane map that it is currently running. No pullback no heat issues and no misfires. So there we go guys, I tried to explain everything that I could as simply that ChatGBT kind of explained it to me. It's really good seeing how well the car's performing. There seems to be no significant issues. I mean, pretty much there's, there's no faults apart from the old suspension part, which I've changed in this car so far. Actually had brand new track rod ends and tie rod ends replaced on the car today. So that was a bit of a chunky build. However, engine wise, the car is running faultlessly. This is another reason why MHD is just so good. MHD, if you're watching this, please sponsor me. It'd be really good to tune some, some more cars for this. But yeah, MHD is just gives you so many of these options to be able to read the live data without going to a dyno and stuff like that. Obviously, in the ideal world, we're not going to be using AI. It would be best to go to a tuner who really knows what they're doing, get it on a dyno. That way we can see how the car's perfectly performing. However, to kind of do it on a budget-friendly kind of way, I don't think there's a better way at the moment. But yeah, really interesting video something new to the channel i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did then give it a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel to see more content like this we're going to germany in like two weeks and going around the nurburgring so it's going to be absolutely incredible trip there's going to be so many videos on the channel but yeah let me know if you try this in the comments if you do try it then let me know how your engine is looking in the comment section down below i'd love to hear it apart from that really appreciate you guys watching and i'll catch you in the next video